Okay, in this video, I'm going to discuss what capital sigma means. Now, if I'm honest, when I was in school, capital sigma used to scare the life out of me, and I used to always be afraid when I saw that on a maths paper, because I didn't know what it meant. But the truth of the matter is, just like an integral, just like a function f of x is equal to y is equal to 2x, just like a differential, um, dA, dB, just like, what other ones can we think of? An exponential, e to the x. All those are actually very simple. The problem is that you're not told in school what they really mean and what they're used for. So I've tried to do that. Now look, if you, if you don't know what any of these mean, look at the videos I've put up. In actual fact, I'm going to put links in them on uh, this video. And have a look at those and see, uh, see what they mean. So this is just a continuation of that, that series of videos. So first of all, how do you draw a capital sigma? Well, there it is there. Um, and it's just, we'll say, like that. That's capital sigma, all right? In comparison, we'll, we'll say that that might be lowercase a, so it's obviously, it's a capital letter, so clearly it's bigger. So what does it mean? And the answer is this. It is a It is a quick way of writing addition. Now, if you look up the video on integration, so this is an integral. Integration is a quick way of performing P-E-R-F-O-R-M-I-N-G performing addition. They're different in that the integral, well essentially they, they, they will do the same thing. A sum will do the same thing as an integral in, 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 in that it will add lots of different things very quickly. However, usually with the sum as in sigma, you will physically have to do the addition yourself, whereas the integral will do it for you. And I'll show what I mean by that now. So both of them are related to adding lots and lots and lots of things together, summing lots of different things. And of course, I spoke about the fact that the integral has other uses as well. So it basically, capital sigma is a quick way of writing addition. So why would they do, do that? Well, if I had a sum like this, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to 1,000. Now, First of all, look, I didn't write the whole way up to 1,000 because that would, that would involve a massive amount of paper and that would take me ages just to write the fact that I want to count all the numbers between 1 and 1,000. So I use this, we'll say, dot notation. Well, that doesn't really cut it and there's actually a better way of doing it and that is using sigma. So, it involves you doing the following. Let x equal a number. Alright? So, Draw your sigma. Now, what you want to do is you have limits. So the limit you will do, you will start at whatever, wherever your, uh, your sum starts. So if I want to count to 1,000, this is going to be, and n is the, we'll say, the, the, the variable you use. It's just, for some reason, everybody uses n. So you write n is equal to 1. That's the first, that's the first um, number in your sum. And you will go from that to the last number in your sum. You could write this as well, n is equal to 1, to n is equal to 1,000. And you'll, you'll write, your, sorry, it should be n, not x. And you'll write this. What that will do is, it will say, n is equal to 1. Add n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 2. So this will then become 2. Then it will go n is equal to 3. And it will add them all together. So what this n is equal to 1 will do, we'll go 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, dot dot dot, up to 1000 and give you your answer. That's what that means. And compared to this, it's a lot quicker way of writing it. It's a lot neater, especially because uh, you, you like all your sums won't be as neat as that, adding 1 to 1000. They might involve powers and so on. 
So, say for example, you wanted to add, uh, you wanted to add, you want to go this. You want to add one to the power of zero plus one to the power of one plus one squared plus one cubed plus one to the fourth plus one to the thousand. You want to add all those together. So you'll do the same thing. You'll just draw your sigma. Where do you start? You're going to use n. Now look, what's the variable here? What number is changing? It's the indice, the power. We'll say this is one to the n. The power here is changing. That's going from one to two to three, the whole way up. So I will say this is one to the n. Where do I start? Well, I start at n equals zero. One, two, three. So I go n equals zero. Where am I going? n is equal to a thousand. So it's a very concise way of adding them. So I'm assuming that in school you're not afraid of addition. You're not afraid of subtraction, multiplication, or division. But I will assume that you're afraid of things that look like this. Or like this. Or like this. Or any of these. Maybe that. Log. The truth of the matter is, they're all very they're very simple. They're just like this. The first time you saw plus, minus, multiply, divide, you were probably baffled by them. Or maybe you maybe you weren't baffled because there's something that is it's it's kind of um instinctive. Adding things is something that you do when you're two years of age. Integrals aren't something you're you do at two years of age. Neither are differentials, exponentials, um summations, logarithms. They're things that you don't do every day. However, if you ever want to go into science, engineering, mathematics, applied mathematics, you will need to know what these things mean. And the truth of the matter is they're actually not that scary. Like I said, look, this one here, this is for adding. It's for areas. It'll give you an area underneath the curve. It'll add things for you quickly. This will give you a rate of change. This um, exponential. Uh, growth or the K. This will give you growth or decay. This adds. This now the logarithm. How do I describe that? Um, is it's I suppose used for graphing and understanding. Uh, it's it, look. There's a lot more to it. Look at the video if you want to find out a bit more about uh, logarithms. Logarithms aren't that hard in the end. But look, adding. You've seen that one. Growth or decay, that's something we're well used to. Rates of change, we're used to that. Adding and subtracting and getting areas, we're used to that. So these are things, the only reason these symbols are used is because if you're involved in maths, you're always having big, long, complex calculations. And it's a lot easier, instead of writing 1 to 1,000 like that, sorry, like this, it is a lot easier and quicker to write something like this. So the least amount of writing necessary is obviously a good thing so that's why people use these different uh, these different what they're called actually they're called operators so you have the integral operator the different this here is the differential operator the exponential operator the summation operator the logarithm operator that's the natural logarithm operator or the logarithm operator these are just different operators and they do something to something. Look here, the addition operator, the subtraction operator, the multiplication and division operators. So like I said, capital sigma is a way of writing long sums in a very short way. No need to be scared of it, just understand what it means. So just once more, you go, you have your, you have your symbol, you have your start point, you have your end point, and then you have your your sum like that and that's pretty pretty straightforward and finally one that you may see regularly you might see somebody going I want to go from n is equal to 1 to infinity of 2 times I, I don't know whatever 2 to the n like that so that is that is the sum that will do this it will go 2 to the 1 plus 2 to the 2 plus 2 to the 3 plus 2. Now, 
you can't go to infinity so this this really means nothing but it means that number will get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so look that is that's kind of garbage uh, so we write 2 to the n um, and that's uh, that's a bit about what capital sigma means I hope it was useful uh, please put comments or suggestions on my video pass it on to your friends perhaps like the video if you do and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you for watching